Christmas Day was fast approaching. Both sister Lily and her younger brother Timmy were excited, curious and a little bit anxious. They were anxious just in case if they were not good all the time during the year, and they certainly didn't want to get a lump of coal instead of nice presents. Christmas is coming soon, and I'm wondering what kind of presents I will get. I am not so curious about that. I wonder what Santa does after Christmas. Hmm. How come, Lily? Well, you see, Timmy, after Santa and his helpers work all night making and delivering presents on Christmas, no one has heard what happens with Santa after it's over. I thought that after Christmas, Santa starts to work on a new list of, uh, of good and naughty kids and his elves start to make new toys. Well, they do at some point, but I don't think they start doing it immediately. What do you mean, Lily? Don't you think, Timmy, that Santa deserves some break after all that hard work? Oh, yes, Lily, that's right. I think he goes on vacation. Hmm, vacation? That is a good thought, Timmy. But where would Santa go on his vacation? If I knew exactly where he went, I could finally meet Santa somewhere else. You do not think, sister, that Santa wears his recognizable red suit on vacation, too? Of course not. If I have to guess, he would be in disguise. But how could you recognize him, Lily? I would think of something, Timmy. But f first, I still have to figure out where Santa actually goes after Christmas. I think Santa goes to one of those ice hotels in Lapland where he sleeps in a snow bed, takes an ice cold shower, and eats all kinds of ice cream. I do not think so, Timmy. I am pretty sure that Santa is sick and tired of the cold weather at home. If I have to guess, he would go somewhere where it's hot and sunny. Why do you think, sister, that Santa actually goes somewhere? Maybe he's so sick and tired of traveling around the world delivering presents on Christmas that he likes to stay home after the holidays, something like staycation or holiday. Just imagine all this, lying on the couch, eating cookies, watching TV, taking a snooze, reading a book, and more napping. It is possible, but it's not very a healthy option for Santa. Perhaps Santa has meetups with other Santas, like a buddies. What do you mean, Lily, by Santa like buddies? I mean someone like Grandfather Frost in Russia, St. Nicholas in Germany, St. Santa Lucia in Sweden, La Benefate in Italy, St. Basil in Ger Greece, Three Kings in Spain, Nice Gnome in Norway. There are so m much to discuss about what presents are po most popular, which sleds is the fastest, who delivers the most gifts, etc. I think it's too much work to get all them together from different countries at the same time. The different, the time difference, different languages, different habits, busy schedules, etc. I think Santa would rather to visit his relatives, preferably someone without children, maybe one of his old aunties. Oh yeah, he would do all kinds of chores at, around his aunt's house, like cutting wood, sweeping a floor, watering plants, cooking, tending, and milking the cattle for starters. No, no, Lily. It sounds like a lot of work. I think Santa has a sweet tooth and would rather go to somewhere like Candyland. He could eat all of the chocolate bars and candy. Well, maybe Santa is sick and tired of eating sweets during the holidays. Then he might like th something opposite, like going to salty the salty lakes. Perhaps he'd like fish, fishing, tasting salty fish, and eating potato chips. Eating salted fish? Yuck! While Timmy and Lily were thinking of all kind of possible location options for Santa, at the same time Santa was busy with something else in his house. He was sitting at his old wooden desk with a huge pile of paper on it. Do you think he was reading new letters with next year wishes from kids who didn't get everything they wanted this Christmas? Not really. During the Christmas break, teacher asked children to write an essay about what they think Santa does after Christmas is over. Santa got a special giver of their essays. He put his reading glasses on and began to read them. Ho, ho, ho. Not really. I do not immediately start to work on my new list for good and naughty kids. 
At first, they need time to do something good or bad. Ho, ho, ho. No way, it's too cold in the ice hotel for my old bones. Ho, ho, ho. No, no, it's too boring for me to stay home after Christmas. Not enough action. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, no, it's too hot for me on the beach. Ho, ho, ho. Hardly. It's too much after holiday international affair hassle to meet my present giving associates. Ho, ho, ho. Certainly not. It's too much work for me at my aunt's house. Ho, ho, ho. Not again. It's too much sugar for me. I have to watch my diet, you know. Ho, ho, ho. Nope. It's too much salt for me. Ho, ho, ho. <sighs> All of this reading made me tired. I think I'll go to bed and hibernate for a while until my buddy Groundhog wakes me up in the spring after he determined when spring's actually coming. No sooner said than done, said the fell asleep in his cozy and warm bed with a fluffy pile of goose feather filled comforters on the top of him. He dreamed of flying around the world until certain someone furry and gray, with an alarm clock in his paw, knocked loudly on the Santa's door.